Okay, we've got the Roger Federer workout today. All you need is a jump rope and maybe a mat or something like that because you're gonna alternate 60 seconds jumping rope, 60 seconds a different core exercise. You're gonna go through uh, close to 20 of these. So it's gonna take, the whole thing is gonna take you about 20 minutes. I've got my, uh, my gym boss timer with me today. I sell these on the site. Um, they're in the right-hand column. They're great if you're doing interval training or the Tabata tennis uh, posts that I've been putting up. You can set it for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, or one minute intervals, whatever you want. It's a nice little tool. There it goes. All right, 60 seconds, here we go. My knee is still not 100%, but um, it's getting better. You can go one leg. I haven't been doing that too much because of the knee. I'm just going to stay with two. Okay, the next exercise is a plank. We're going to go into a plank position like this, just a regular push-up push up position. Make sure the butt is not sagging too much or up too high. You want to have a nice straight line. And you're going to hold this for 60 seconds. Or what you can do is hold it for 30 seconds, let's say, and then do knee-ups inside and outside. A knee-up is outside, inside, outside, inside. And if those are too difficult, just hold that plank position. Make sure, make sure that your core stays engaged. Make this exercise more difficult by doing it on the hand with the arm up. You don't want to let the hip sag. Keep that straight line. And then to increase it, you can drop the hip down and come back up. It's a great core exercise. Or you can do it on the elbow with the arm down and you can do the little dips to increase it. Side plank, 60 seconds on the right side. You can just hold it like this or do the little dips, makes it a little more difficult. Or you can keep the arm up and have the hand down. And you can do the little dips as well. Okay, next exercise, push-ups. One minute of push-ups, not easy. What you do when you get to the point where you can't do anymore, just hold that plank position, take some rest and see if you can do a couple more. So 60 seconds of push-ups. Remember, keep the back straight, keep the line straight. See here now, I'm just gonna hold the plank for a little while. 
rest a little, go back down for some more. Okay, the next exercise, scapula push-ups. Now with these, you want to engage the shoulder girdle and you want the spine to drop down in between the shoulder blades. And you're just keeping the arms pretty much straight ahead. So here's what it looks like. Okay, you're here, straight line and you drop the spine down between the shoulder blades, come right back up. One minute of scapula. Legs up, and you're just going to do some windshield wipers. Feel that resistance as you're coming down. Engage that core. And you're just dropping down and coming back up. Sixty seconds. This is probably the easiest one out of the bunch. Personally, I like a back extension machine a little better. So this is your chance to get a little breather. Going into 60 seconds of hip raises. So on the back, we're going to raise the hips and get that straight line. Once we have the straight line, we're going to stick out one leg. Okay, really works the glutes, the hamstrings, and the lower back, posterior of the core. Straighten the left leg. We're trying to maintain that straight line for 60 seconds. Remember, we're coming up on the crunch and we're just trying to engage here. Keep the head and the shoulders back as you come up and try not to go all the way down. Hold it. Make sure the core is engaged the whole time. And there you have it. The Roger Federer workout. Give it a try. If you can get through it once legitimately, you're doing a good job. If you still feel like you need more, go for a second set or a third set. Guaranteed to help your footwork and your core strength. Have a good one. Please post any questions or comments and let me know how you're doing with this routine. All the best and happy hitting.